Hello friends, it's the Carnivore Rabbi here as always to meet, pray, and love together. A happy Mother's Day to all the moms watching. And the overwhelming feeling I have on Mother's Day is one of gratitude and gratitude for the gift of life. And especially as a carnivore, gratitude for the moms that nourished us with good meat as children. That was, that doesn't happen as much today. I am right on the cusp of a Gen Xer and millennial, and there was still a lot of good meat back then. There was still less processed food. Was, I was born right around the time that the FDA, the food pyramid came out that really ruined the diets of American children. And I'm lucky that I did get the last taste of that uh, more whole foods, much more meat and fat kind of diet that's really gone today among younger generations. But I wanna talk a little bit about why it's so important to be grateful for the carnivore diet and especially grateful for moms that nourish us. And the New York Times article that I critiqued about a week ago, did you realize how male heavy it was? It really, it almost depicted the carnivore diet as a bro diet that only uh, very intense weightlifting bodybuilder men do. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Sure, there are several bodybuilders, several, look at Dr. Baker and Dr. Chafee, but many women thrive on the carnivore diet. Many moms thrive on the carnivore diet. Many moms feeding their children carnivore diet. I know that's controversial. In fact, on one of the websites I run, zerocarbzen.com, we had to take down a story about a certain family that raised their children as carnivores, this was a while ago, because of all these threats that came in afterwards. Can you believe that? People are fine with the processed food diet that's harming children, leading to record obesity levels and diabetes in children, and yet a family that chooses to raise its children as carnivores gets death threats. That's a backwards world we live in. But that's not a topic for today. Today, we talk about gratitude. And I'm grateful for the carnivore way of eating, for the people that came before us who really developed the bear. I have a video about him, one of the first videos I ever produced, who was probably one of the earliest carnivores to write about it and speak about it and articulate it as the natural proper human diet, the phrase that Dr. Barry uses, but it was the bear before him that really championed it. And all the other teachers who really, can you think, if you think about it, Think of Dr. Chafee, Dr. Baker. These are doctors who could be making enormous amounts of money. I think Dr. Baker is a, he's a surgeon. A surgeons can, a orthopedic surgeon, make tremendous livings, and yet he is out there championing the carnivore diet, going against the medical establishment for what he knows and believes is right. I'm grateful to that. And I'm grateful for the gift of life that gives us the opportunity to nourish ourselves properly, to share this wisdom with other people. And I'm grateful to my own mom for giving me a wonderful childhood and championing me in spreading this carnivore message. I know a lot of people disagree with it. You probably, as a carnivore, you probably encounter people, especially close family members, who think it's absolutely outrageous what we're doing. And I have a few of those. But the truth is, the people who care about us most, they're doing it out of love and they really do care. And that just makes it even more important for us to stay consistent, to champion this way of eating, to understand where other people are coming from, but also to continue to be an example, a shining light of the way we can properly nourish ourselves with this proper human diet. It's truly a gift. I'm grateful for it. I hope all of you enjoy a wonderful Mother's Day.